Good morning everybody and welcome back to another vlog. Today's Monday and we are starting it right with a vlog. I have quite a few things on this week. Uh, it's my birthday week. Oh, am I in focus? Yes. So it's my birthday week. Um, my birthday on Friday. I'm excited. It's like four days away. Well, <laughs> it's a few days away and I'm actually really excited because we've got some really nice plans um but today i am heading into town to meet up with Dee, Dee and she's helping me shoot a campaign um so i'm really really excited to do that as well just to have a um, meet up with her have some lunch shoot some content i thought i would take you guys along with me um because obviously it's the start of the week and i'll quickly just run through what i am wearing today i'm wearing this striped knit dress from marks and spencers i i think it's sold out <laughs> um my jewelry is very simple just got some hoops on hair is slicked back which is my favorite way to wear my to wear my hair it's just out of the way it's a really warm and beautiful day today and yeah i just don't want hair everywhere perfume of the day i'm gonna go for impressor i have not worn this perfume in a very long time so um yeah i thought i would put it on today it smells so good um i'll put a little bit more actually bag of the day is my songmon reset tofu bag um it's a you've seen this one before haven't you it's a really really beautiful bag I thought that was a scratch then, but it's not. It's not a scratch, just I think makeup or something. I don't know. Um, so I'm using this bag today just because I feel like it goes with this outfit, and I'm so excited to start using this bag again as we head towards autumn winter. It fits so much. Um, yeah, I'm gonna head off. I should have got. I really wanted to get there about an hour early because I have some returns to do. Basically, yes, last night I uploaded my H&M haul and um, a few days ago when I was actually filming the haul, I was trying on the knit dresses which I was talking about. Now in the try-on, it's I'm in H&M and I tried on a large and the, the large was really good. But I thought I would go for a medium. Now I always forget that with things being a smaller size that they also come shorter. I'm already on the tall side, like I'm five foot eight. And then, that combined with the fact that i now have a huge bump so the material has to go through <laughs> has to go past my bump and then also still be an appropriate height length sorry um yeah those dresses all three of them are really really short so i'm gonna go and exchange all three of them whilst i'm in town so i have quite a few things to carry with me as well which means that i'm going to be driving into town um because just the thought of having to get the train being pregnant it's just it's a lot. <laughs> the heat. <laughs> I was at the wrong place at the right time. Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes. We were conversing under the night sky. When you took my hands and let's leave now. Don't wanna be shy. about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then you took my hand said let's leave now Be the 
about a week since I last updated you all. The last time I spoke to you was when I was heading to uh, film a campaign. That's all done now. And it's been about, it's been my birthday. Um, I've done several things. I think I have should have done like a little, um, like a little, what would you call it? Like a montage? Oh, the heat. Oh my God, it's hot. It's hot day today. I need a fan again. See, it has been a little while since I've spoke to you. Um, and let me just let me just give you guys a little bit of an update on what's been going on. I also have a huge haul I want to show you towards, well, towards the end of this video, but I want to update you guys first. So, um, like I said, last time I spoke to you was when I was meeting up with Dee Dee to film a campaign. So I'll show you guys the things which I picked up then. And then it was my birthday and I had a very chill birthday like every single year. I just prefer chill birthdays. I'm not, I don't know. It sounds really weird saying that. I'm like, I'm not a huge birthday person. I'm not, I don't like organizing things. <laughs> I find it stressful and not enjoyable. And I actually just enjoy spending special moments with like, individuals. Mm -hmm. Jack um, so we had a midwife appointment so I'll give you guys a quick little baby update um, so I went in for a midwife appointment and everything was well baby of course is measuring big <laughs> it's just a reoccurring theme I mean if this baby at this point stopped growing at the rate that it's growing they would now be concerned and um, that's what my midwife said I'm gonna be nine months pregnant very very soon um, I'm having midwife appointments every two weeks, I think. And then if I go over, which I don't think I will, I'll tell you guys that in a second. So anyway, I had a, had a midwife appointment, baby's measuring big, like three, four weeks ahead. Um, I don't know if this baby, I think it is a big baby, but I also think it's a long baby because I just keep, every time I've had a scan, they've always said that baby has really long legs. So I think we have a long and large baby. Yeah, if, if this baby continues to measure big, it would mean that I'm way past um, 40 weeks. And yeah, my midwife has started mentioning inductions. She did just kind of touch on it, but not, she didn't really say too much because I need to go for that growth scan in order to be, in order to have that conversation. Fingers crossed, this baby comes on its own and I do not need to be induced, but we would just don't. We just don't know. It's still too early. Next week's appointment is the one that's really going to determine what's going on. Um, but either way, this baby is doing well. They are kicking a lot. Um, I feel like they're trying to like stretch out um, because the kicks are really strong, like really, really strong nowadays, which I'm loving. Um, what else do I need to update you on that? Yeah, I think that's literally, I think that's everything when it comes to baby. They're just doing well. I mean, no news is good news. <laughs> and then after that, I had my birthday. So Jack and I went to, he asked me what I wanted to do. He asked me what I wanted this birthday. And I was like, I don't really want anything. Like, there's, no, there's nothing that I want. Um, and I'm just one of the people where if there's something that I want, nine out of ten times, I will just buy it within a few days of wanting it. I won't ever wait till my birthday to get something. Um, so we went for afternoon tea at Betty's in Harrogate. Um, if you're not from Yorkshire, Harrogate's like one of those really typical English towns. It's lovely. Um, and they have like, um, they have a Betty's cafe, which there's like a few of them in Yorkshire. They're really, lo they're lovely. They're quite, I'm not really an afternoon tea kind of person, but when it comes to afternoon tea, they're like supposed to be the best of the best, basically. Um, so we did that, um, and then we went to a spa, we went to Rudding Park Spa, which was so lovely, I, oh, it was just, yeah, when I, when he asked me what I wanted to do, I said I just wanted to feel relaxed, I knew that I would be heavily pregnant on my birthday this year, so I just wanted to do something which was going to be relaxed, 
chill and I just wanted to and I also wanted to do something that involved just me and Jack where we can just spend as, as many days as many weekends days together just cherishing these last moments as just us two and um, before baby arrives so it was a such a nice chill day like probably one of the birth probably one of the best birthdays I've ever had um and yeah obviously it's a special one because it's my last one before I become a mother and I'm even more excited now to now I'm even more excited now to spend birthdays with um this baby and as a family um so that was that um what else what else what else what else and then on monday just gone so today's wednesday we i had a little girly trip i had a little girly day with dion hold my hand could you hold my hand look me in the eyes you and me yeah that's all i need and i'll be all right because I was like I really fancy like a girl's like a shopping trip um so we had a little girly trip in Manchester which I hardly ever go and I haven't gone in a while because I'll explain why I'm not really doing I'm trying to live a very chilled life at the moment um so we went to Manchester had a little we went to 20 stories for lunch um which was I asked people for recommendations and most people recommended 20 stories and it was really good actually we got like we, we got like their lunch set menu which was uh, I got like a we both got fillet fillet steak and then and then a dessert so that was lovely I would definitely go back I'd love to go back with Jack and then afterwards we did a little bit of shopping I was supposed to do birthday shopping for myself did I find anything why is it does anyone else find that when they're ready to shop, I'm like, yes, I'm ready to shop. Today's going to be a good shopping day. I want to treat myself. Why is it on those days you can't find anything that you want to buy? I couldn't find anything that I was like, yes, I want to spend my money on that. Um, so instead, I bought baby some stuff, which I'll show you guys in a second, because actually today I need to do last bits of baby's washing, because it's a lovely sunny day today, and I want to get everything washed and done by the end by the end of the day so that was that I didn't buy anything for myself but like I said I have everything and all I wanted to do was have a chill birthday and go to a spa which is what I did so I feel very content I feel very content yeah very content and just I'm yeah <laughs> there's nothing more I want in life I have everything so I mentioned that I try not to leave my house okay so going to Manchester was probably not a good idea um when you're heavily pregnant because the sun the heat right now is killing me the uk we've just had a random heat wave which most years would be good i'm not a huge i don't love summer i'm not even gonna lie i don't love the summer i don't know what i like to be honest i like sun low heat shade <laughs> Um, I don't like the feeling of the sun on my skin. So, what was I just saying then? What was I just saying? I can't remember what I was saying, but um, what I wanted to get onto was that being heavily pregnant and going on a shopping trip, which involves a lot of walking, I did 15,000 steps on that day. That is not a good idea when you are this pregnant because my ankles are so swollen it's ridiculous they are huge absolutely massive and before anybody gets concerned I spoke to my midwife about it she has no concerns <laughs> um she's tested me as we normally do she has no concerns it's to do with the heat this heat is ruining my life <laughs> right now is literally i have to, i'm just I want to be in dark rooms, sipping cold drinks, not even acknowledging the weather right now because it's my ankles. Literally, it was overnight. It was like one night. It's like one day, all of my shoes fit. Now none of my shoes fit. 
my feet are so huge all of the time it is just horrific and <laughs> anyway that's the little update um i'll get on with showing you guys what i picked up from what i picked up for baby and all of the autumn winter bits i've been buying um it's my last week of filming content and doing all of that i might film a little bit next week but after after oh my god i can't believe i'm not even talked about it i'm so sorry but after this week i'm going on maternity leave um i call it maternity leave but obviously i'm self-employed so i'm not going on <laughs> it's not like a typical maternity leave and it definitely won't be as long as a typical maternity leave period in the uk or europe um uh, but um this is my last week of filming <laughs> i can't believe i've not even talked about it um yeah i'm I, we'll talk about it later we'll talk about it later let me just share what i got for baby so i got this i got a few bits from mamas and papas and next as well um because well, I got two things. First thing that, that I think might be baby's coming home outfit is this little onesie. How cute, it's got little teddies on it. I'm obsessed with teddies. Um, so it's like that. The only thing with this is that I wish it was like a proper sleep suit and not just like a bodysuit like this. Like I wish it had um those like attached fold over mittens and socks and all that um so it's a little bit annoying in that way but i think this is just going to be the cutest little coming home outfit and i got it in the zero to one month size which is funny because my midwife was like i don't even think this baby's going to fit into zero to one and i was like don't say that because zero to one is supposed to fit babies up to 10 pounds and i really i mean i think i'm gonna have a big baby but 10 pounds really Okay, and then I got this little cardigan. This is baby's third cardigan that I bought them. How cute. How stinking cute. And on the back, it just says hello on it. And I've had my eye on this card. I've had my eye. I've had my eye on this cardigan for a very, very long time. Um, yeah, but they don't have this cardigan at my local next so when i saw it at the one in manchester i was like yes i need to buy it and i got it in the zero to three month size just because with a cardigan um it doesn't matter if it's a little bit big on them um you know it can be a little bit big on them and hopefully the zero to three month size will fit them for the longest amount of time so those are the things which i picked up from um for baby I didn't, like I said, I didn't buy myself anything, so I can't show you anything. I'll show you guys a few PR things which I have received. Um, okay. Uh, and I'm not going to show you guys. This is the only birthday thing that I'm going to show you, but it's a PR item. Um, Dem Logica each year send me um, a box full of a few goodies for my birthday. But I'm not going to show you guys what I got for my birthday just because I don't really like... I don't know, I don't... I have filmed a few, but I'm not really like keen on that kind of content. I don't know, one year I might have something which I just really want to share, but generally, I don't know. It's just not my thing really. So anyway, this is a box from Dumbo Logica. A tote bag. I love these little tote bags. I usually take them shopping with me. Oh, a daily, a daily microfolium, which I love. I have loads of these actually. Probably one of the best exfoliators out there that your skin feels so fresh like baby skin after using it so of course i'm very grateful that they've sent me that and then getting straight into the autumn winter bits and i'll show you guys the thing which has just come through um which has just arrived um and so so fact, it's good that it's too warm to wear them right now because either way I wouldn't be able to wear them because my ankles are so huge right now that nothing's going to fit. Um, let me show you. Okay, and the boots are from a brand called Duo, which to be honest, I've never ever heard of Duo before. Um, so it's like a new brand to me, but they are very established. And um, I've been waiting for these boots to arrive. Um just yeah i've been waiting for these boots to arrive and i love the fact that you can completely you can customize elements of the boots 
to fit your foot shape. They have like a petite and regular and a tall um, range as well, which you just don't get with a lot of boots. Um, have a look. I was going to show you the boots, however, they sent me the wrong pair, and um, which to be honest, they're absolutely beautiful. But I have loads of boots in the style that they've sent me. Um, so yeah, once uh, hopefully I'll be able to receive um, the boots that I originally uh, asked for, and once I do, I will show you those. Um, but I don't want to show you guys something that I already have. Anyway, I'll crack on and show you the other bits which I have recently picked up. I have Zara bits, um, H&M, do I have H&M? No, I don't have H&M bits, but I do need to head to H&M because the, the striped cardigan, I found it at my local H&M, which is so close to me, in a large, I'm gonna go try it on within the next hour, <laughs> okay? Um, but, so I'll do that, I'll do a little mini come shop with me, but um, I don't want to show you guys the boots, but just because they're beautiful, they're absolutely beautiful, but they're not the right, they're not the right pair, I don't want to show you something that's not right, um, or that I already have in my wardrobe, um, so yeah, <laughs> show you the other stuff now, I'll show you the other stuff now. Okay, so the first thing which I have bought is this jacket here, and it's from a brand called Reserved, um, they're, I think they're early in London, like I've never seen one outside of London, um, and actually I saw Raquel talking about this, um, on her TikTok and I thought, Do you know what, I need this jacket. However, I don't think I'm going to keep it. Sorry if I sound out of breath. But yeah, um, I saw Raquel talking about it and I was like, yes, I love this. It reminds me of the, uh, Totem jacket, you know, the one which has the attached scarf. This is like the reserved version and I, I do really like it, but it's just... I don't know. I don't. I don't think I love it. I don't think I like absolutely love it. And I think it was like sixty or seventy pounds. So it's quite a lot of money for me not to love. And if I'm not going to keep it, then I need to return it. I'm not sure if it really like suits me. Not the fact that I've got black boots on. Obviously, I wouldn't wear them with black boots. Wearing my H and M cord, which I'm obsessed with. Um. Yeah. What do we think? Keep return. Not too sure. I have already created a return for it, but I haven't physically returned it, so I still do have time to keep it. But I'm just not sure whether I like absolutely love it. The next thing which I have bought is this cardigan from Zara. I saw one. I saw one on H&M and I loved it. But the one on H&M, they only had a small in my local store. In they only had a small in store, but now I have seen that they have a large in store and um i'm gonna go try it on and i think i might bring you guys along with me and take this one from zara you can compare and contrast and then i can decide um so anyway this is the zara version i've seen these striped cardigan cardigans from um cardigans everywhere they're very chanel which i love and um, preppy very i just love it also excuse my camera if my camera's looking a little bit dirty i, I do apologize um but yeah i love these cardigans i think they look so good with everything this is what i'm wearing it with now um but i feel like they'd look best i feel like they look best with like jeans trousers if i could fit into those kind of things that is what i would be wearing them with um i'm wearing a large and the large fits really really nice um or also it, mean, it means i can lay underneath as well so just take that into account um this one's 35 pounds i think the one from hm is 44 but i think the one from hm is also a little bit more thicker and more structured than this one here so i really don't know which one to keep but i thought i'd show you this one from zara because i really do like it and it's a great option it, it was it was fully in stock when i Bought it, I bought it in my local store. I just saw it whilst I was like walking past Zara. I was like, oh God, I'm gonna have to go get it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love it. What do we think? What do we think? Okay, so the next thing which I'm gonna show you, which is the big thing which I bought, is, is this big duvet coat from Super Dry. Now, I haven't shopped on Super Dry in a long time. Fun fact, I actually used to work there. That was my first ever job um, when I could work from 16. Um, but anyway, I, um, was looking for a big duvet oversized coat, which has a hood, which is waterproof, which is going to be good quality. Like I said, I've worked for the brand as a, like, as an employee years ago. So I know that the quality is really, really good. Um, 
so I knew it was one of those like I knew this is the brand that I wanted to go to when looking for a big um practical coat it's like if I had a dog if I had a dog it would be my dog walking coat um and I wanted it to be really really long obviously I'm wearing heels right now but when I'm not it hits me right on the ankles um for your reference I am five foot eight so I'm on the taller side and I'm taller now because obviously I've got these uh boots on but yeah I just wanted a really really but yeah I just wanted a really long coat um it's just perfect it comes in so many different colors um like gray i think nude i knew i wanted black because i wanted it to be practical and this is going to be a direct exchange for another coat which i got from new look i've been i've been using that as my practical coat however that coat um when it actually rains it seeps straight through and it's not waterproof at all so i knew that this year was the year that i was going to upgrade my uh, that coat so it's going to be a direct swap i'm going to um, donate that coat because it's still like in really good nick um, it just doesn't fit the purpose that I need it for this coat has pockets fully zipped um, what size I think I got it in a size 14 um, which is a size I, to fair, I normally go for a size 14 when it comes to coats because I like them to be nice and roomy um, so yeah this is going to be a really nice practical everyday coat it can be fashion you can make it into fashion hopefully i can include it in some um outfit pictures on instagram but this is more like practical and i wanted to get a practical thing so in a way this was kind of like my birthday present because um although i worked on a campaign which gave me a voucher for this coat i also put some of my own money to get this coat because it was like 160 pounds or something like that and um, so the voucher didn't fully cover it so this is kind of part of my birthday treat i guess um but i absolutely i just love it I just, i'm also after a black structured wool coat i think i found one i need to order it today but obviously that will not come in time for this haul so unfortunately i won't be able to show you here but um i'm upgrading like my practical coats coats which i wear year in year out so once i order my uh, more premium black wool coat um i'll exchange it for the one which i have which has worked for me for like a few years but i just want to upgrade it and i found the perfect one from weekday anyway enough of that i might show you that once i come back from my maternity leave but yeah hi everyone it's now quarter to six i didn't think i'd be heading to look for this jacket this h&m this h&m jacket so late i thought i'd be doing it a lot earlier um but i've had a really productive and busy afternoon trying to fin finish things off and send things off for approval so let's head to h&m and try on and try find this jacket and hopefully try it on i have the one from zara in this bag here um i have the one from zara in there so we can try it on try both of them on in the change rooms and decide what we're gonna do Closer, i want to stay here with you I just wanted to come and touch on something that's obviously quite I can't believe I even forgot to talk about this but I think I have one more video perhaps one more video that I need to share with you and this will be my very last vlog no more vlogs after today because um like I said I'm very close to being full term and I just can't <laughs> function anymore like um and I'm just gonna go maternity leave and just have a break and prep for this baby and just wait for this baby like I said I'm measuring large as well big so I feel just huge <laughs> it's heavy and I don't have energy and I'm sure a lot of you guys who even if you have children or you don't have children you can just understand the strain pregnancy can have on a woman's body so this will be my last video um until i come back with baby um gosh i can't believe we're here already i literally cannot believe um 
I'm just waiting for this baby to arrive now. Um, not quite, it, like I still got a bit of time. <laughs> I still have a bit of time, but I just want to, I don't want to have the pressure of having to create content and share things. Um, I just want to not have to wear makeup and look like an absolute hot mess without showing it on camera, <laughs> basically. Um, so yeah, this is going to be the last vlog. Um, and I will be back. I do not know when I will be back. Depending on how everything goes, fingers crossed, send me, pray for me, <laughs> that everything goes well with baby. I'm sure it will. Um, I, but I can't put a time on it. But I know that I just want to take a really long break from YouTube. Um, I will share more things on Instagram because it's just so much easier. But even then, um, I've, noticed my, I've noticed that I'm already going like three or four days without sharing any stories. I'm just taking a step back um, and just enjoying, just trying to enjoy these last moments. But yeah, I feel a bit emotional that the last time I come back on here, I will have a baby. Thank you so much for watching all of my content um, up until this moment. Um, this is going to be such a huge life change. I'm so excited and thank you for anyone that's been following me in the last few months. Thank you for anyone that's been following me in the last few months. Um, and good luck to all of the other mums who are also having their babies right now. I know so many of you guys are also expecting your babies. Um, but yeah, I hope to be back soon, but I don't know. I don't know how long that'll be. Could be weeks, could be months. So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to love you guys and leave you all just here. Bye.